Then let's begin with a word of prayer. Oh, Father, sometimes it's so hard to do your will or accept your will when it affects us and hurts us or hurts the people we know and love. Help us, Father, through your Holy Spirit to stay with you and trust you, have faith in you, in all that we do, in every day that we live. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Gospel of John, chapter 18, and you can divide it between you. One of you take 13 to 14, the other one take 18 to 24. Okay, what do you want? <laughs> I don't care. I'll start out, I guess. Okay. okay. All right, it's 10 p.m. It's a nice time at night, Thursday, April 6th, 3018. And they're in the upper city. John 18, 13 and 14. Uh, first they led him to Annas, for he was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. It was Caiaphas who had advised the Jews that it would be expedient that one man should die for the people. Okay, what do you see? What's here? Well, it sounds like, I mean, obviously Caiaphas uh, thinks someone has to die for this, and uh, okay. if you're afraid of an insurrection and what the Romans would do, that would be probably a very reasonable thought process. Which we knew they were planning, they were thinking. Yeah. And, and with Judas, they were planning to execute and did. Mm -hmm. So he, does, he is afraid of Jesus for a real, real reason. There's a lot of trouble involved if Jesus does what they are afraid he's going to do. But what else do you see here? Well, what I always see when I read this verse is Caiaphas, whether he realized it or not, in his position of high priest, was actually speaking prophetically. Okay, let's slow down. Okay. Oh, Caiaphas speaking prophetically. Yes, yes, that's correct. What do you see here? Okay, so Annas Thank you. must have been high priest before, and Caiaphas is going, Dad... What do I do? Dad-in-law, right. Yeah, father-in-law. Right? Okay, very good. Now, why would they go to Annas first? Well, it said he was high priest that year. No, no Caiaphas, Caiaphas is, the is the high priest. Oh, oh, I see, comma, okay. Exactly. Okay. So is who is him? this Annas, and why is he of such authority that he's, he's above the high priest? This is what people aren't realizing. She's had a lot of different contacts here. All right, let's take a look. Jesus was taken from the Garden of Gethsemane under guard to Jerusalem and the palace of Annas, the patriarch of the high priests. He had been high priest for 10 years, had five sons who had been high priests, and now his son-in-law was the current high priest. He was known for his aggressive <clears throat> questioning style, which could include fists, clubs, staves, and violent servants. Mm. Here is the godfather, if you will. Okay? He's the one the Romans said, get out, we're putting in another one. He's the one who's truly the high priest. Just not in Fact. Just not official. Officially. Okay. So, from Gethsemane, they bring him in, bring him up the Central Valley, up to the palace of Annas, right there. So let me ask you a related question. Do we know what the process was for picking a high priest? I don't. Okay. Some you know, you know they had some planned process that w they used. I'm sure there was some manipulating and such that they had to do. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure there was something. But I don't know what it was. Okay. This was simply a preliminary investigation held at his palace. This is a nice little palace. Okay, This is looking in from above. It was not an official trial, and that's what you have to keep in mind. Okay? Which could not happen at night by law. Okay? Mm -hmm. But he was the most powerful religious leader in Jerusalem. 
and was the one whom Caiaphas had convinced that night was the right time to arrest Jesus. Annas makes the decisions. Caiaphas just is just number six down the line, you know, five others, and now Caiaphas, he's just a puppet. Okay, any question or thought or comment? This is the outer wall here, the inner courtyard here, and here, here, and then this is all the internal places. Here's another inner courtyard, things like that. Nice, comfortable little place. And Summer. we figured out how that looked according to right. archaeological stuff. I don't know about that. This is the model in Jerusalem that I'm using, but this is the correct location in the city where they believe Annas had his temple, his palace. Okay, any question or thought? John 18, 18. Well, I'll read this one. This is hard for me, okay? Okay. Now the slaves and the officers were standing there, having made a charcoal fire, for it was cold, and they were warming themselves, and Peter was also with them, standing and warming himself. What do you see? Well, I mean, that probably is kind of a common thing. Somebody builds a fire and everybody crowds around it. Everybody who's inside the building, sure. inside the compound, sure, is who are waiting to be ordered to do something or whatever. Now, so it's what is it? probably outside. It, it is outside yeah. in one of the courtyards, probably. Okay? Because it's in the city. And wall one wall leads to the next. Okay? So... He's, Peter has managed to get inside. Now, that's... Hasn't it been speculated that he knew someone? No. No? Not, in, not yet. Not in this one. It's okay. hard. There's a lot of things that have to be torn apart in this dialogue, in this, to explain where things happen and why. What you're referring to happens at the next scene. Oh, okay. Okay? When he's sent to Caiaphas. But right now, he is there... And I just think it's interesting that they let him in. Yeah, and he, maybe he knew somebody, or maybe his buddy knew somebody, like they did later at Caiaphas. I mean, he could have just wandered in with a crowd, too. Don't right, know. he'd have been checked out. He'd have been, yeah. Look at it. He's got, I'm sorry, Peter's a Galilean. I don't know. He's there. That's all that matters. Okay? Uh, and he's warming himself at this coal fire. Having been let into the courtyard, Peter takes his place by one of the fire pits, in case there were more. John 18, 19 to 23. Okay. Uh, starting with 19. Yes. Then the high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and about his teaching. Jesus answered, I have spoken openly to the world. I have taught in synagogues and in the temple. Where all the Jews come together, I have said nothing in secret. Uh, through 23. Uh, why do you ask me? Are those who heard what I said to them? Uh, pardon me. Ask those who heard what I said to them. Mm -hmm. They know what I said. When he had said this, one of the police standing nearby struck Jesus on the face, saying, Is that how you answer the high priest? Jesus answered, If I have spoken wrongly, testify to the wrong. But if I have spoken rightly, why did you strike me? Okay, okay, what do you got? What do you see? Well, there's several parts to this. Yes, there are. Um, but Jesus being questioned by him, uh, clearly, if he's asking Jesus about things that he said in public, he's trying to get him to slip up somewhere. Correct. That's correct. Um, this is a trial. This is a questioning. He wants to know something and he wants, yeah. he's, he's searching for it. He's trying to get him to stumble. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? What do you see? Well, so then of course Jesus' answer uh, <laughs> obviously the uh, the man standing nearby that struck him didn't like. <laughs> Say the yeah. least. And, uh, hey, I already told this in public. You should already know this. Bam! Don't be yeah. disrespectful. Yeah. yeah. So it's like that was kind of paraphrased. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, 
But notice he does call him high priest. Mm -hmm. It's like we call the president, the former presidents, president. Mm -hmm. even, you know, even though they're no longer president. Yeah. So, but here is the high priest. Um, I've spoken openly. What's your problem? Bang! Mm -hmm. Apparently, nobody had a problem with him getting hit. It's not like our judicial system now. No. Anything else? Well, and then, of course, Jesus asked him, you know, <laughs> if I've spoken wrongly, testify to it. Otherwise, yeah. why do you hit me? Yeah. Uh, he has no response for that because he's in the wrong. <laughs> Sometimes those who are in authority think that they have the authority, the right to do whatever they choose, regardless of appropriateness. You think that ever happens in real life? Oh, heaven, no, no. This could only have happened <laughs> yeah. this one time. Yeah. Ooh, satire. Aren't we just dripping here? Yes. So, this is an initial questioning, and Jesus is not putting up with it. That's not normal. Question or thought? You're looking well, around. Yeah, I mean... Uh, this is kind of weird because, well, for one thing, you didn't have us do um, yes, right. 15 through whatever. Right, 17. Yeah, it does seem like it's two things going on that have been combined. Because Correct. Same the high priest, yep. which one would think was Caiaphas. Was Caiaphas. And yet... Or maybe, maybe Annas was just there, maybe they were having the meeting at his house, because then in, well, we're not to 24 yet, but then it says, <laughs> Annas then sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. See, so, I, 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 I apologize, it's not my fault. Yeah. It's, but yes, it's this is a mixed story. This whole mm -hmm. sequence is going to be that way, and it's going to be hard for you, especially next time we get together, it's going to be really hard. Okay, so what you have to, the way I interpret it is that the high priest was called a high priest once they had been a high priest. They were always called that afterward, as we do the presidents, the previous presidents. Um, he, was, he had to be the one in charge, the patriarch of all high priests. He's the one in true power. The Romans evicted him, essentially, and Caiaphas got into the job. But he still maintains his authority like the Godfather did. I never saw the movie, but I, I think that's the general drift of it. Well, and then, so, we also know that um, he probably is used to questioning people who are cowed by the power and authority. Correct. And Jesus was not. This Jesus. is exactly what you're going to see. Here we go. Annas questions Jesus with the intent of finding out if Jesus was the leader of a popular uprising that might bring Roman armies against Jerusalem. That's what he's after. He just wants to see for himself, you know, he, Caiaphas and him have agreed, this is the time, let's find out, let's question him about this kind of stuff. There were followers of Jesus that were known to be members of a terrorist group called the Zealots. We know that, Simon the Zealot. Would Annas recommend that Jesus be put on trial and what would the charges be? So, He's really doing the preparatory work, the DA. He's finding out all that he can to find it, to then send him on for a formal trial. Okay, question, thought, or comment? Some of the questions Annas asked Jesus were, if you were sent by God, how do you plan to overthrow the Romans? That would be a good question, I think. Mm -hmm. Something that a Jew would know to ask. Yeah, and it's something he's most concerned about. Yeah. You know, what are your plans? You know, do you plan to be the king in this kingdom that you proclaim? What gives you the right to pass judgment on those who serve in God's temple, which he had done? Just how many followers do you have? How big is your army? Mm -hmm. How do you plan? This is what I think he's after. Okay? And I think these are reasonable questions. <sighs> Any
Any thoughts? And then Jesus just says, Wow. You heard what I said. But Jesus was not there to answer questions. Jesus was God's question to Annas. Will you, as the leader of God's people, or will you not, listen to God and lead Israel to be the light of justice that draws all people to God? That's why Jesus was there. So it's an interesting contrast that you're right. Annas is used to people being scared when they're in front of him. And then he beat them up more just to be sure. And Jesus is not cowed at all by him. Annas should be scared about Jesus, but he doesn't know why. Well, he probably is. That's, he is. That's, that's why, why he's reaction. got him arrested and had him brought in. Yeah. But he doesn't know why. He thinks it's the political situation mm -hmm. with Rome. And so, I mean, it obviously doesn't have that quotation in the Bible. Obviously but, not. <laughs> but um, you're taking that from all of the sermons and things that Jesus yes. did while he was at the temple there. Yes. It, he confronted him all the times, his whole ministry. They've, they've been watching him for the last couple of years. So they really have a sense of where he's at. They know that it's not here, but his disciples are... And he just came in and claimed himself to be the Messiah. Oh, they got to really do something. They have no choice. Oh, yeah, after Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday. He's being announced as the Messiah. They, they have no choice. They have to do something to protect the nation. Any other questions or thoughts? Comments? Well, these weren't no doubt, probably very intelligent people. Yes, they are. They, they, they did not have the same perspective that Jesus had. No. But uh, given the information they had, uh, what side would you and I be on? You know? Well, I wouldn't want the Romans to come down after me. Yeah. I mean, I'm just a citizen here. Leave me alone. I'm just doing my little business. Yeah. You know, I, I no, 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 no. Now, on the other hand, if Jesus was the Messiah and could bring people back from the dead as he did Lazarus and could feed us as he did the 5,000, and he could take care of us as we and raise an army and raise Israel against Rome, I'd be happy with the result mm -hmm. if he could do that. But the decision has to be up to the religious leaders to decide whether or not he could do it. Is he who he says he is? Mm -hmm. And in, in those days, they would not expect him to be someone who was poor, born, no. or any of that. No. They, they want him to be one of them. You're right. How typical of any clique or group, or, you know, they expect it to be from them, one of theirs. Oh well. Certainly not a Galilean. <clears throat> As time went on, Jesus refused to answer any of his questions. Annas asked Jesus one final question. Will you not offer proof that, that will show us that you are sent by God? And Jesus finally responded, I won't show you proof nor answer your questions. At which time a guard slapped Jesus for being discourteous to the high priest. And it finally gets his answer. And then there's John 18, 24. Read it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was trying to figure out. Okay. John 18. Now the slaves and the police no, had, no, 1824. had John chapter 18. Yeah, verse 24. Oh, sorry. Verse it's okay. 24. Then Annas sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. Okay. Not long after this encounter, Annas finished his fruitless questioning of Jesus, and it was fruitless. 
He had found Jesus to be dangerous, just as the leaders of the temple had found Jeremiah dangerous. You'd have to look at Jeremiah 26. Annas sent Jesus, with his hands tied, to the palace of his son-in-law, Caiaphas the high priest. With the guards, Caiaphas sent a message. He is dangerous and must be eliminated for the sake of the country. And this is Caiaphas's palace, where he's going. Nice little personages. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any questions? Any further questions, thought, or comment? It was a brief encounter, and he came up he came away with a decision that because of Jesus' attitude, this guy was a problem. And they're gonna follow through on what he talked about with Caiaphas earlier. We want to eliminate him. Okay? Any questions, thoughts, or comments? Well, it's just a matter of fear again. And power, authority. Sure. And, and the well, when I, when I say fear, I mean fear of several things. Fear of the Romans. Good. Fear of losing their position. Yes. Fear of losing credibility. I mean, With all the of these people. things are going to add up. You're right. They are afraid. I agree with you. And that's what, that's what it is. I mean, that's just the way it is. Any questions? In that case, next time when we get together, Caiaphas will question Jesus.